This is the absolute worst fear that any Orioles fan could have is watching the trainer run out on the field to Felix Batista. So every single Orioles worst nightmare just happened tonight. Felix Batista comes out and throws a 102 mile an hour fastball, comes up grimacing. You can see him clearly squeeze his hand a couple times. He has some arm discomfort. They're waiting to evaluate tests. The worst case scenario for the Baltimore bullpen happened right after this pitch. And you could clearly hear a pin drop in the entire stadium when the trainer came out on the field. So what really scares me about this situation here is you can clearly tell if Batista right now is calling time. He doesn't really know what's going on with his arm, but pay close attention right here where he kind of keeps every, that arm really stiff and just trying to like get his hat together, and he doesn't move that elbow much at all. Look right here. He, the wrist is kind of bent. He, he doesn't want to move that arm. That's, that's scary. So the optimistic part of me will come out here for a minute, right? So most times, most, not all, but most times when a serious injury happens, a pitcher's not going to follow through that pitch and throw 102 miles an hour, right? I, I want to be optimistic about it because he did just throw 102. It kind of looked like he just fell off to the side. I'm praying for a pinched nerve, maybe in that, you know, in that shoulder area back here, or maybe like right here in the bicep tendon or something, some kind of like something that jolted him a little bit rather than a, you know, worst case scenario situation. Right. But I, uh, I'm trying to be optimistic, but you just watching him, you know, cock that, that wrist like that, when that wrist was cocked like this and he was keeping that elbow as straight as he could, I'm not really sure what to think, to be honest with you. Hopefully the tests come back clean. Where do the Orioles go from here from a closer? I mean, it's pretty obvious that Batista is going to hit some sort of injured list, you know, stint, right? He's going to miss either 10 days or, or God forbid, hopefully not longer, right? Who do they turn to in the ninth inning role? Is it Cano? Can, can you trust Cano right now? Uh, he's been pitching better. Is it Danny Coulomb? I mean, Danny's decent, but, you know, sometimes Danny kind of leaves that changeup up there a little bit. Um, does does Tyler Wells come back and and move into that closer role? Remember, he was the closer before uh, Jorge Lopez, um, and then when he his Rule Five season, so he has experience. DL Hall has experience. Does he come up? Do you want to take these guys coming off rehab and throw them in the closer role, or do you want to just see what Cano can do? It changes the kind of the entire dynamic of the Orioles bullpen, right? Because now. Everybody comes out of the role. If, if it's Cano, Cano comes out of his eighth inning role. So now Fuji comes out of his seventh inning role into the eighth inning role. So it's, it's a trickle down effect at this point. Somebody has to come in and step up and, and, and take that new role by the horns. And God forbid, it's only for 10 days, right? We're, we're going to be optimistic here, right? We're going to hope it's just 10 days. Uh, the Orioles are going to find a way to get their self through it. If not, my personal opinion, I'm going to roll with Tyler Wells. I know he's coming off of uh, re, you know rehab, um, but one, he has that experience. Two, he's been with the team all year, right? We know how good he is. He got tired, let's be honest. Like, Tyler didn't get hurt. Tyler got tired. Um, letting Tyler go pitch one inning, you're going to go see him throw the ball 100 miles an hour, just like Felix did. Um, I think Tyler, me personally, I think Tyler is, is the best man for that job. I don't trust Cano for the ninth, mainly because he leaves the ball in the middle of the plate far too often. Um, but he's, he's good, right? He's had a solid season for us. Could he do it? Yes. Could he get us a couple saves? Yes. Do I want to trot him out there three games in a row? No, no, I don't. Um, would I be okay splitting time? With Cano, um, Means if you had to, Hall if you had to, Wells if you had to, Cologne if you had to, just whoever can get the job done that night. We'll see. We'll see what the O's take forward on this. I'm praying for the best. You know, let, you know, use that comment section down below. Let me know what you guys think. Are you worried? Um, how long do you think he's going to be out? And who is your pick to take over as closer? I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.